Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Good Prime, and welcome back to um, a something. <laughs> this isn't an episode of any kind. I hid an egg back in 2018, almost 2019 time frame. Oh, hold on, let me turn that down just a little bit. And the egg, hold on, is there a way for me to turn off the sound? Because the, it's a little loud. I don't know. Anyhow. I hit this egg back in, uh, like I said, 2018-2019 time frame. It was created in 2017 by a little group called Magnum Developers, um, aka your friend Jack UK was a part of Magnum Developers, and they were creating this game called Western Redemption. I asked if I could put some code in there to hide a friendship egg because I was doing the whole hide eggs thing and secrets at the time, and your clues. I gave out. They were uh, the place I died, the no, the place I was buried, the place I died, my favorite spot, and the place I hide. During one of the live streams, this is what was happening. I was going through and playing and having fun, and I noticed that they had placed a gravesite with my name on it. Heath Haskins died, blah, 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 1905. Anyhow, that was the place I died. And then, while I was playing during the stream, I'd made up this story like, yes, and that old man who was traveling back, and he fell asleep under his old tree, and then there was a snake that came along and bit him. And like, the, for some reason, I was just doing my ADHD thing, and I came up with a story of how I was, uh, how Heath Haskins, the, the Code Primate character, was sleeping underneath the, this tree and got bit, and he tried to make it back to his house, but he died. So that's the place I died. And then while we were uh, running around, the top of the little tower thingy over here, that was uh, my favorite spot because I could see out over the whole area. So that was the place I was at. And then we played like a hide and seek game during the live stream and I hid in the top part of this barn. So that was that was the clues. That was the clues to come and find the, the egg. So, I either didn't, I hit it too well, or I didn't give enough clues, whatever the case may be, I'm going to show you how to unlock the uh, friendship egg, and this friendship egg is now null and void. I think four years of trying to have somebody find it is more than enough time. So, whenever you first get into the game, run over here along the side, and right here is um, the graveyard. By the way, the original was created by uh, uh, Magnum Developers. The scripting help was by Weeby and Red Guy, which Weeby and Red Guy found it because I hid the code inside a script and I put inside the script specifically Weeby, d like Weeby, Red Guy, don't say anything. Th yes, you found the egg. Don't go after it. So um, I have to turn the sound back up for this. So it's going to be a little annoying, but right there is the gravesite. Now I want you to listen to the audio cues, because this was your only hint if you started down the right path. If you stand on my grave, listen. Do you hear the wind? The wind would gently pick up, so now you know, oh, I've triggered the first event. So, the first clue, the place I'm buried. So, uh, the, the next part, like, this took us a little while to run out to, and it's going to take me a little while to run out to it now. But, the story was, uh, Code had been mining all day, and he had decided to take a small rest underneath, underneath one of his favorite trees. While he was there, a rattlesnake had come up and bit him on the leg. Well, the rattlers of Western Redemption are not very forgiving, so he tried to make his way back to the house to get help but he didn't quite make it. So, the next one is, if you go to this tree right out here, and you travel in a direct line towards the house, you will find some particle effects that show the spot where I died. This is, this is gonna take a second. Oh gosh. And I do apologize about my hair and my, my clothes. I have been painting all day long and we've been trying to do some renovations and stuff like that. It's been really good. It's been a good week. So that's also why I haven't been playing regular games lately because I, I just, 
I didn't feel like it was right for me to continue playing on vacation. So I'm doing stuff that I want to do for fun. Like, here in just a second, I'm probably going to go play a little bit of Fortnite instead of concentrating on working on book scripts or programming or anything like that. Just relaxing. It's a vacation, you know? And you need a break sometimes. And I'm glad I'm taking one. There we go. Almost there. I kind of wish I would uh, give myself speedrun, but then I'd have to turn off the speedrun again. Okay, so here is the tree. What you gotta do is you have to sit underneath the tree and then point to the right side of that building right there. Hold on. Is that is that right in the middle? Yeah, that's right in the middle. And then just start heading forward. <clears throat> so he was trying to make his way back to the house. And if you look, you have to keep an eye out. You, oh, there it was. Did you see the little particle effect right over here? Keep an eye out. Here, I'll go forward a little bit more. Next one that pops up, we'll, we'll run straight towards it. Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. Now, the only way that you know that if you've gotten it correctly is by listening to the sound. Oh, sound is fading. Sound is fading. Did we get it? Sounds like we may have gotten it. Got it. Do you guys hear the new sound in the background? It's now like a mystical cave sound. That means I've unlocked the second part. Which, by the way, if you had been on the correct trail, if you were trying for the egg, I'm not sure anybody would have gotten the audio cues because the music was so loud, nobody really noticed the wind sound. There were tons of people who stood on my grave. I know that for a fact because a lot of people were telling me, there's a wind sound, there's a wind sound. But for those of you who got to the wind sound, good job. You were on the right trail. You just didn't like put the rest of the story together. <sighs> Anyhow, after, uh, after we were doing the live stream and everything, the, uh, during the live stream, that's when I kept searching around and I went and found really tall building thingy and I liked it because I could see the entire area and I could see everybody like running around on the bottom so oh my goodness I forgot how large this map is lots of emptiness lots of opportunity that's what this is you know to, to put some things out here to hide things who knows I might I might use this map to hide something else. But I will definitely be coming up with another uh, hidden Easter egg of some kind in the near future. Probably not as elaborate as this thing was, and maybe with a little bit more clues. But I figure since everybody's been asking about the candy cane axe, and everybody's been asking secrets of Lumber Tycoon 2, and I'm not going to oblige you. I will not allow you to to pull the secrets from me. I'll give you one of my secrets. One of my secrets that's been hidden for four years. <laughs> I still can't believe that. Like, that's, that's a long time to keep something hidden. But, you know what? That's, uh, that's a good secret, I guess. That or just poor game-making skills. Which I, I could claim both, you know? I could claim it as being a, a really good hidden secret or a really badly clued secret, but either way. <clears throat> I like it when secrets are well hidden, not hard, you know? 
Because if the if the secret's too hard to get, then it's like, was it worth it? Okay, right here. Give it a second. Listen for the audio cue. So you hear the normal sound going the that one, but the other one, the like mystical mind sound should stop. Oh, here comes the train. Bad timing train, bad timing. <laughs> okay, we, we've triggered it. So we're on stage three. Oh, who's that? Who's that handsome fella? What you doing, buddy? Oh, oh, hey there. Hey there. Hi. <laughs> so, third audio cue is now triggered. So that was my favorite place. So the place I died, or the place I'm buried, the place I died, my favorite place, and the place I hide. During the... the little secret wow that's getting louder during the little live stream we were trying to play hide and go seek and I noticed that if you run into the barn there was no way to get up to the top like there's no there's no ladders there's no anything you can't run up the backside you can't jump up the backside but you could come over here to this Oh, what's that? Hello. I'll have to go and see what that is. Boom. If you run across here, run across to the front, and then I was hiding, which I, I was hid for a good 20 minutes before somebody actually found me. I was hidden right here, just hiding. So, if you stand here with this music trigger, give it just a second. It should go away. Did I trigger it? Hold on. I may not have triggered it. Did I trigger it now? Did I trigger it? Yeah, there it goes. The sound's disappearing, and... Give it a second. Come on, come on, do it, do it. Bam! You just won Code's Friend Egg! GG! And then it would save your name inside the, uh, the script files. And then this little uh, avatar of me would appear. Yay! Congratulations! So, that was the hidden friendship egg that's been there for for four, three or four years. It's been been a while. And I, I hope you've enjoyed me revealing this secret that's been gnawing at the back of my brain forever. I will try and find a easier way to hide the egg. I'll give you, give you a couple because I mean, I still, I think I've got like 20 friendships that I can give or hide. So look out. I mean, they could be in any game. If I can get a hold of Defaultio and hide it inside Defaultio's game, I'll do it. If I can get a hold of SimBuilder and hide it inside one of his games, who, who knows wherever the egg may be hidden. Uh, I, will, I will give hints and clues as to where it is and, and what to do. But for now, I'm signing off. I'm going to go get some, some sleep. Um, we've got a long day of painting and renovating tomorrow as well. It's been a wonderful vacation so far, and I hope to continue. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice if you want to go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. Love you guys for that. Have a great day. Or night. Or whatever. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.
Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.